What's up, YouTubers? John DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you five tips for newbie car owners on things you should be checking on your car regularly. All right, let's get to it. All right, number one is checking your tire pressure. You're going to want to check this every few months, I'd say. If you're wondering what the pressure it should be at, open your driver's door. There should be a sticker along here somewhere, down here. It'll give you the PSI cold to measure at. And, you know, sometimes it's different for front and back, but uh, pretty much it's always uh, anywhere between 32 and 35 PSI for all the tires. I'd just go ahead and match them up evenly. Get yourself a tire gauge, and this just works like this. Unscrew the cap. This little thing goes right here. Push it on. Push it real quick, boom. Now this is like 35 or 33 or something. It's a little different because it's been sitting in the sun. So go ahead and test this out in the morning to get the best accurate reading if your car has been in the shade. All right, and also, when you're checking your air pressure and do it, don't forget your spare tire to pump that up. Because the last thing you want to do when you got a flat tire is have a spare that's all flat too. Two, now we're going to open our hood. Now get to know where your hood latch button is. Usually it's right here on the left side of the driver's side. Just go ahead and pull it. Pops the hood open a little bit. And then you're going to have a safety latch somewhere. Each car is different. But you basically just lift up on that safety latch. Pull the hood up. And now some hoods have springs. Some have uh, little shocks. But some have these arms you just pull up. Stick it in the hole. Usually there's a little arrow or a hole. Stick it in there. And that hood hold your hood up. Okay, so now we're going to check the oil. So usually the oil is on a dipstick. This stick right here. And I'll have like a yellow. Usually it'll say engine oil. Go ahead and just pull it out. And you're going to be checking the oil on a motor that's been sitting. So in the morning's the best after the oil's gone to the bottom. So there's these little cross hatchings on the bottom of the stick. And uh, go ahead and get your rag, clean off that, stick it back in the hole, pull the dipstick out, and that'll give you a reading. So you want to be in between this crotch hatching. If you're uh, all the way at the bottom of the cross hatching, that means you're a quart of oil flow. So, all right, that's how to check that. Number two. All right, number three, brake fluid. And you don't want your brake fluid going down. That would be detrimental to your health. You would die. Oh, see, this is the brake uh, fluid reservoir. Usually it's going to look like this, kind of a L-shaped reservoir. But uh, just go ahead and lift the cap up. You can see down there. There's a minimum and maximum line on the side. You're going to want to make sure that's topped off at all times. Then you want to check underneath your car. Make sure nothing's uh, leaking. Okay, if you've got a leak, let's say... If it's green and liquidy, that's coolant. You got a coolant leak. If it's caramel colored and oily, that's oil. If it's red and oily, that's transmission fluid or power steering fluid if your car runs uh, automatic transmission fluid for power steering fluid. And also if it's really clear and liquidy, then that's probably just power steering fluid. Your car doesn't run the ATF fluid. Four. Next we're gonna be checking the cooling system. And that consists of usually your reservoir and your radiator right here. Radiator is going to be in the front. There will be a cap like this usually. You're going to want to check. This is your reservoir. So check your reservoir. We'll have a, a low and full usually on the side somewhere. And you're going to want to have it topped off. But also, you want to check your radiator. Take the cap off and make sure that this is full too. should be topped off with radiator fluid. And that's the green stuff. And number five, lastly, you're going to want to check your wiper blades consistently. Make sure these babies are ready to go, especially for the rainy season. These should be a nice supple rubber. If they're cracking, if it's ripped, it's going to go on ahead and replace that. I got a video on how to do that too. All right, if you learn to check those five things for a newbie car owner, you'll be good to go. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching Giant DIY. Keep on doing it yourself, guys. Thanks.